How much is this euro really uh, presenting a headwind to the European economy? Well, I think one has to look things in the round. I think at the end of the day, the Eurozone recovery is broadening out. The Eurozone is surprising on the upside. We had more data from Eurostat, the uh, statistical agency um, in Brussels, uh, published today, showing you know, the recovery in domestic demand really driving this um, overall recovery in GDP. Um, and there's still scope in the second half this year for uh, the Eurozone to uh, certainly surprise on the upside. And you know, the ECB is going to revise up its GDP forecast probably today um, in the staff uh, projection. So, yep, they may nudge down the inflation numbers a tad but um, the more important message is they will be revising up those GDP numbers um, and um, they are going to be adjusting QE in 2018 I think the, the very important message that Draghi will want to get across is that though even if they're going to be tapering uh, the you know the short end will be anchored there's no way they're going to raise the depot rate for a long time so that's another very important message for Mario Draghi to get across at the press conference so, so David you set it up beautifully a growth looks really good inflation their target the ECB's target is not going up the way they wanted to. I'm going to put a chart up here I can describe to you if you can't see it, which basically yep. shows what happens every time Mario Draghi the ECB talks about the euro or doesn't talk. And what this basically says is yep. Mario Draghi didn't talk about it the last time he had a news conference and the euro went up when he doesn't say anything. Yep. Similarly, at Jackson Hole, didn't talk about it. That's all, and that other yellow uh, zone here goes up. The one time they did talk about it is the ECB minutes where they said we're worried about it. Euro goes down. So given that phenomenon, does Mario Draghi just no. stay silent today and drive the euro up, which hurts his inflation, or does he have to address it? Well, Valentin is absolutely right. I mean, they're going to get a lot of questions about the uh, euro. And certainly, um, the eurozone economy is much more open than the US and even Japan. So, um, you know, in terms of the exchange rate, it matters far more for the ECB. But the important thing at the end of the day is the eurozone at the moment is recovering on the upside. There is much more optimism surrounding France in particular, uh, with the reforms that are being, uh, being pushed through. As you said yourself, I mean, US investors are looking at the eurozone. At the same time, the eurozone is throwing off this monumental current account surplus, which has also been helping underpin the euro. Uh, on the foreign exchanges as well. But the important thing is growth in GDP. Um, inflation, in a sense, is of secondary importance. So they can look at the Fed, they can look at the BOJ, they can look at the Bank of England, but find it very difficult to generate core inflation. Um, and the ECB obviously is very aware of this. What they want to do is generate a strong enough recovery that they can actually taper in 2018.